Today, you and I are gonna talk about a raved about drugstore foundation that's pretty new on the market. Hey girl, welcome back for another video. I'm so glad to see you again. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. It promises to wear up to 24 hours. I picked this baby up at Walmart, I'm really excited. It retails for $9.98 at Walmart. I believe you can get it at CVS, um, Target, and uh, Walmart, of course, <laughs> and probably a few other drugstores but you know what I always love a good affordable foundation and I especially love Maybelline because this is the only drugstore foundation that my skin can tolerate now it would mean a lot to me if you would take the time to just double check and see if you're subscribed if you're not please go ahead click that subscribe button and join the family please I believe it's here 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 <laughs> I think so, right? <laughs> I never can get it right. Um, but yeah, click that button. And if you are part of the family, hey girl, it's so good to see you again. Okay, so you know what? Um, I just want to read a little bit to you about what this foundation is. It's a full coverage foundation. Now I already told you it's supposed to wear up to 24 hours. It's a seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, which is amazing because there's nothing I hate more than a foundation that transfers. Like when you go to hug somebody, and the foundation ends up on them like man. Also, I just want to have a quick side note. I am filming in the morning and I live in an apartment. So if you hear some rumblings and beepings going on, <laughs> just know, you know, that's out of my control. So let me go ahead and scoot you in a little bit and then we can go ahead and get started with the application. All right, so now that we're all close up and personal, <laughs> um, I've got the shade 356 here. It's called Warm Coconut. I am usually 355 as my base color in the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless and I do use a darker shade kind of around my face to you know give me that like natural bronzed look so I figured I'd probably just go ahead and get the equivalent in the Superstay foundation see how that is so when we open it up here cracking the seal <laughs> Yay! It has a pump! Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I thought I was gonna have to like pour this on my hand. I love that. That is my only gripe about the Fit Me foundation is that it doesn't have a pump and I feel like I'm wasting so much foundation. Um, also, just to let you know, I've already primed in my T-zone. I've used the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm and for the rest of my face, I use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is a moisturizer and primer in one. Makes your makeup look really natural like your foundation is like skin like it's amazing okay so let's see I'm gonna shake this up and I'm just going to pump a few pumps oh my god there we go <laughs> I'm gonna use two these are pretty big pumps as you can see and I feel like it's gonna be a pretty good match um, the other shades like the shade lighter was like a different undertone and the shade darker was too dark you know so I was like whatever let's just try this <laughs> I'm using my real technique sponge and I think on this side I'm gonna try it with a sponge on the other side I'm gonna try it with a brush see how they both look like oh yeah oh wow it's going on immediately as matte which I'm loving, but this probably also means that you should work quickly when you use this and not, you know, dilly-dally around. So far I have to say that it definitely looks like it has a little bit of blurring action as I'm seeing in the mirror, but oh you guys, it doesn't smell good at all. It has kind of like a paint smell which kind of worries me because I really hope I'm not allergic to it if it makes me break out that's not gonna be good okay so you can see the side of my face with the foundation and then here's the side of my face without it so you know the color is a bit more orangey but I can fix that with my powders and with um, contouring so I'm not too worried about that let's go ahead and switch to the brush action and see how that looks okay dipping my brush in here ooh this is really really nice you get a lot more of that full coverage kind of look 
I don't really need that, but I think for some of you guys that like full coverage, it's gonna look really, really good. Okay, so although the brush side looks nice, I do wanna go over with my Beauty Blender just to kinda like push it into the skin a bit more um, and make it as flawless as this side. Okay, so I'm aware guys, don't freak out, I'm aware that on camera I look a lot more orangey, but you know what, it's actually not quite bad at all in person. I'm going to bring the foundation down a little bit. Usually this doesn't really help <laughs> with my foundation, my neck I mean, matching my face, but sometimes I just like to do it just to like get a little bit more of a gradient, you know what I mean? Okay, so foundation is locked and loaded. Before I do anything else with my face, I just wanna talk about my first impressions. First of all, I am not a fan of the smell. It smells like paint, it smells gross, and that really has me worried for my skin because I have sensitive skin that cannot deal with that kind of stuff. So fingers crossed um, that nothing bad happens. Otherwise, I really like the finish. I do love that it's matte. You can tell it just set right in place. It's not going anywhere. And for people that are probably dry to normal skin, you probably won't have to set your foundation if you don't have like lots of fine lines or anything. I'm still going to do that because like I don't believe in not setting my foundation, but just saying <laughs> for some of you guys that do like that, you know, I think that's going to be um, a possibility for you. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Age Rewind just because I want to stick with Maybelline and see what this looks like. This is in the shade Tan, and I really like this concealer. It's super, super natural. It's not ultra, like, high coverage, but it just looks really nice on the skin. And another thing is I really feel like the undertone of this concealer works really well with this foundation, which is really awesome. If you have this concealer, you might like these paired together. And I'm setting that with my Fenty Beauty. Just a light, light set. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply Cream Contour from Milani. I'm going to skip over that really quickly, but I did want to show you guys, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Dark 40. I did review the shade 35 for under the eyes um, and highlighting about last year and I really liked it, but I wanted something darker for bronzing, so I wanted to show you guys what that looks like on camera. Okay, Cream Contour is on and popping, it's looking good. See this foundation is already starting to like warm up and look really good with my skin tone. I've got my shade number 40 of the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Loose Foundation. And look at this pigment, guys. I'm loving that. Kind of got to dust off a little bit. I'm going to use this more as like a bronzing slash setting the rest of my face that is not uh, highlighted. Wow, this looks really nice. I'm just using a light hand, guys. I'm not, not going ham. Wow, I actually forgot how nice this powder is. I mean, my face literally looks flawless, guys. Um, very, very impressed with how the Fit Me powder works with this foundation as well. I like can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face, check in, and then of course, I wanna do like an eight to 10 hour wear test so you guys can see if this holds up. I really feel like those are useful for you guys. Um, let me know if you do like them. Uh, so yeah, okay, let me stop talking and go ahead and finish my makeup. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back from my first check-in just to show you the completed makeup look. You guys, wow, wow, I am so impressed. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect from this foundation, but I have to say, it, I love the blurring action of it. It's amazing. And I do have just like a little bit of texture around my nose and my mouth, and you cannot see that at all. I don't even see my smile lines. That's like unheard of for me. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very impressed. 
I do have to say that I personally need to see how this wears for like a full day before I can completely recommend this to you guys. So stay tuned. I will be coming back to check in. But so far, I have to say I am very impressed and I love, love, love that this is affordable as well. Hey, hey. So I've been wearing this foundation for about nine and a half hours and I feel like I've got a really really good feel um, for how this foundation wears. Now I have a post-it note and I wrote down some thoughts that I had on this foundation and I decided maybe it would be really helpful to um, list out a couple categories and rate them out of five of how they performed. So the first one I want to talk about is the price point. I rated this foundation a 5 out of 5 because it does cost $9.98 and that's amazing. That makes it really affordable and given you know how it looks on me I think that's bomb. I think it it looks as good as some of the higher end foundations that I've tried out before so I'm loving that. Now in terms of coverage it's definitely medium and buildable to full coverage. I did rate this 5 out of 5 and I really like that you can still build the coverage either with a beauty blender or with a brush. I haven't tried with my fingers um, but I'm pretty confident in that as well. Now let's talk about the blendability of this foundation. As you guys know I tried this side with my beauty blender and this side with my brush. So listen I rated this a 4 out of 5 because on the brush side I still felt that I had to go in with a beauty blender to kind of just like touch up those little fine areas but it still blended very well I was still impressed but it wasn't like amazing bomb.com on both sides I kind of found that the beauty blender alone side was just better in general it didn't need any touching up as far as like right when I put on the foundation now let's talk about shade range I really 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 love the shade range of this I think Maybelline hit it out of the park five out of five for me as far as shades uh, from fair to deep skin tone I feel like Maybelline consistently does well some of their specific ranges they just don't have shades for deeper uh, skin tones but I feel like they're working on that so I'm like like willing to give them a little bit of a pass because I see some progress you know now let's talk about long lasting I rated this foundation a three out of five and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why now when I put on the foundation it looked beautiful it still looks very nice but throughout the whole day it began to separate on my smile line areas right now it doesn't look so bad because I did touch it up right before um, I sat down to film I took my makeup sponge and I just went in and kind of like patted that out but I feel like that's necessary like every hour every two hours it just won't stay initially for the first three hours it looked great and then it began to separate because you know I'm a real person I talk I smile I laugh and I kind of want a foundation that's going to you know stick with that so I'm still gonna play around with some more primers some more setting powders and see if that can remedy it but I found that very annoying I'm the kind of person I just want to put on my makeup and then you know pat down a little oiliness but that's it like I just want to go about my day I don't want to keep fussing with it and that's what I didn't like about this so if you do have fine lines or smile lines that might be a little bit of a problem for you and then I I did get kind of oily around my nose earlier and I had to take my sponge and kind of dab around it but here's the thing you know I feel like it's the middle of winter and I'm only slightly oily during this period of the year <laughs> that's not even like full-fledged summer and I feel like if somebody you know is a really 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 oily you're gonna have to use your best primer you're gonna have to bake you're gonna have to really use your best setting sprays to combat that because this foundation really does not hold back the oil long term maybe during the first few hours I also will say that I found that it was transfer proof like it wasn't easily rubbing off on my clothes or my hands like I can touch my face and then look at it and like look 
you know what I mean? There's no foundation transferring. So that I can definitely appreciate. All in all, I really do like this foundation. I love how affordable it is. I think there's so many great aspects to this particular foundation. Um, I just think that there are definitely things to watch out for and I'm going to need to figure out how this foundation plays better with different primers and stuff like that. Let me know if you have tried this foundation and what you think of it. Now be sure to check out some of the videos on the screen right over here <laughs> um, and also be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I always enjoy hearing from you guys and how you think today's product performed. Uh, please let let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye!